peaked caps and round glasses, mopped off wigs, limited edition records and blow up John Lennon's, it could only mean one thing. The Beatles convention was back in town this weekend and the world's Fab Four fanatics flocked to the Adelphi to pay homage to the city's greatest band. This is our mecca. You have to be here. As a Beatles fan, you have to be at least once in your lifetime, you have to be in Liverpool. If you've never been, you can never really appreciate what the whole thing is about with the music, with the friendship, the love of people. I've been here for over 100 times. This is my, I think, my sixth or maybe my seventh Beatles convention. I'm one of the one of the authors who write Beatles books. I've written 34 books about the Beatles. That's a world record on its own. And I also own the Dutch Beatles Museum. I was the first Beatles fan who especially came over from the Netherlands to come here to marry here. A snapshot then of what the Fab Four means to these people who gathered on a Sunday morning to peruse the flea market stores for Beatles bargains and to be entertained by one of the many bands to have descended upon the city. This is the first Beatles um, stereo copy of Parlophone in black and gold. There was only about 2,000 copies produced and then it changed to the black and yellow copy. Um, and it's on the auction site now. This, 3,750 pounds. And that's a reduced price. You won't find a copy of that here today for less than two and a half thousand pounds. And with cash changing hands quicker than you can say, money can't buy me love, was there really anything left for even the most hardened fan to buy? I've been an avid collector of Beatles stuff since I was about 15. I started to collect Apple records and I've got this quest to get them the whole lot and finally after 30 odd years I got the last one it was here last year I really haven't got room for anything more I need to sell stuff not buy it